Hi, welcome to Weekly Insights with me, Dorothy Atema, the author of Invisible No More. Because of the increased uncertainty, increased depression, and increased anxiety, there is also increased compulsive behaviors. These are actions that we engage in repeatedly and consistently, and they become habits especially if they are associated with us trying to relieve ourselves of the anxiety feelings. When I was in depression, I remember how I got into compulsive behavior. First, I used to be very easily triggered. Something very little would trigger me into a rage that I had no control over. This made me feel like I'm losing control over my life. So the reaction was automatically, I became a control freak. I wanted to control everything, control everybody, control anything and everything that could be controlled. Just maybe this would make me feel like I have control over my life. And who knows? That is almost impossible. So what happened is then I would get into this anxiety. And that is how I went into my compulsive behavior. I went into social media. I would bury myself in social media and kind of like try to numb myself, not to feel anything, just to be lost in whatever I was in in social media, completely go into another world. And that's how we get into compulsive behaviors. And that compulsive behavior started controlling my life. The compulsive behavior now became the control of my life. That's why it's called compulsive. You have no control over it. It's compulsive and it controls your life. There are three things that we all seek in life, whether we know it or we don't know it. One, serenity, to be able to accept those things that we cannot change. And two, courage, to be able to change those things that we know that we need to change. And three, wisdom, discernment, to be able to distinctly know the difference between the two, what we can change and what we cannot change. The biggest fear all of us have is to lose control. The fear makes us crave for control. The number one character defect for most of us is being control freaks, especially leaders, it's being control freaks. Control freaks believe that with enough effort, with enough skills, there's nothing you cannot accomplish. They often say failure is not an option and they are overly critical over themselves when things don't go as they planned. When we feel we do not have control over everything in our lives, we feel we are out of control personally. This makes us crave, subconsciously crave for control and desire to dictate behavior of others. We start to look for ways to control others, seeking to influence them, seeking to persuade them and even manipulate them. This then leads to anxiousness, which lands us into compulsive behavior. 
I'm just going to mention some of the compulsive behaviors. Internet. Compulsive internet use refers to people who become dependent on the use of their phones or other devices. They lose control of their own behavior and suffer negative consequences. The other compulsive behavior is sex. Compulsive sexual behavior involves feeling lack of control over the ability to act on sex fantasies and impulses, such as sending explicit text messages or attempting to touch others without their consent. Another compulsive uh, behavior is eating. Compulsive e overeating is also called binge eating disorder, where a person eats abnormal, abnormally large amounts of food in a short time, in a short time with the feeling of being unable to control how much one eats. There is also uh, other many compulsive behaviors, and I'm not mentioning the obvious ones like gambling like shopping like there's so many of them i'm just mentioning some of them and the last one i'm going to mention is exercising exercising uh is a very tricky one because all of us are encouraged to exercise because it makes you healthy it keeps your body good it makes you happy um but there are some people who have a compulsive behavior to exercise so much that the exercising controls them, control, controls the exercising becomes a, a habit that controls every decision they make. And they use it to try and numb their pain, use it to try and bring their anxiety down. Every, when, you, when you have any behavior, that you feel like you're trapped in it and you're not able to, you try to come out of it and you know that it is, it is, it has become problematic and you're not able to come out of it. That is a compulsive behavior. And sometimes you do need help. You are not able to buy yourself to come out of a compulsive behavior. Sometimes you do need help to come out of compulsive behaviors. For me, I had to go through coaching, not only to get out of depression, but to come out of my compulsive behaviors. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button to show that you liked it. Don't forget to hit on the to click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification button so that you get you you get to be the first to know when we have a new release of the weekly insights.